hello my beautiful babes out there and welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for watching today in today's video I'm going to be playing with the Club Nebula palette I'm gonna do a look for you guys and just chat with you guys and hang out with you for just a little bit this is not going to be some in-depth review I already know I love the palette and there's a ton of videos already on this so it's just more for me to hang out with you guys and play with this palette on camera so if you are interested in seeing all that then keep on watching is this beautifulness i'm so excited that i have this in my hands when this was announced from angelica nikovis this is her collaboration with kaleidos if you don't know who she is she's a beauty youtuber she's a swedish youtuber and she is so funny she's so sassy and she creates these beautiful colorful eye looks and i just really love her channel so when i saw she was collaborating with kaleidos which is an indie brand that i love very much and i only heard of kaleidos because of her channel so i thought that this was a perfect collaboration a perfect combination and the palette itself is absolutely stunning but before i get into the looks i'll give you guys a little details this is 45 dollars. it did sell out on the launch but she will be doing a restock february 17th and they're not sure if they're going to be able to restock it anytime after that so if you didn't get a chance to pick this up i highly recommend you get it on that restock on the 17th but i'll show you guys what it looks up close she said club nebula is supposed to be like a space club theme the packaging is stunning i love the colors in here and i will link her launch video below if you want to get more information see some live swatches the whole inspiration for the names of the shadows and why she made this color store and everything it will be linked in the description as well as videos she did where she created looks with this because she did some stunning stunning looks but look look at that this is so gorgeous there's 15 shades in here and i'll have the shades pop up on the screen like the swatches that i did and all the shimmers are either dual chromes or multi chromes and then she's got the, these deep mattes warm tones this like limey green shade oh it speaks to my soul but the ones that are multi chromes is this shade right here called celestial this shade right here called astro and then all the other shimmers are dual chrome so i just love that it really speaks to like the things that she loves in a palette so i'm going to zoom you guys in and create a little look and hang out with you guys for a little bit but before i do that if you are new here and you like fashion makeup beauty indie makeup just all that fun stuff then hit that subscribe button and join this little family we got going on so now i'm going to get you guys all up and close and personal and we're going to create a little look together but what I want to do is I want to focus on the like purpley shades and maybe do like a little pop of green with this. But I want to go with something that matches like the little flowers on my sweater because I just like to match my makeup looks with my outfits. That's how I pick my makeup every day. So I'm going to use some of the Kaleido brushes that I picked up during their Black Friday sale last year. So I'm going to get this little fluffy brush right here. Or do I want to do the bigger one? I'm going to take the bigger one this is the s1 brush but i'm gonna go in with naru which is this very cool toned kind of brown cool tone leaning purpley shade so we're just going to use this as the starting transition shade wow this is this is really pigmented and i knew it was going to be pigmented i just knew i was gonna love the formula kaleidos is such a great eyeshadow formula if you guys have not tried them all of their palettes are really really nice but do you guys see how pigmented that shade is and it seems really light in the pad but it goes a little deeper on the eyes and i just love that i hate when you go into a shadow that looks vibrant in the pan and then it comes off really light on the eyes that's the worst so i rather have the other way around where it's more pigmented and vibrant than it is in the pan so i'm going to take this smaller brush this is the what is this the s3 brush and i'm gonna go into rock hopper and it's like a very cool toned mid-tone purple and i'm gonna dust off the excess so we can just kind of slowly work our way up there because you can get a lot of pigment on these shadows really quickly so i just want to work that into the crease but i think i think that's as far as i'm gonna go and i'm not noticing really any fallout which is a good thing 
because I like to do my base makeup first and the fallout can be detrimental, especially if it ends up staining or sticking. So now I'm thinking I wanna go in with a little bit of Cyclone, which is a more warm toned purple, but I just want more, more. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna kinda dab that in there and just see how it looks. Ooh, I like what that adds to the look. And I like that, you know, she put a cool tone purple and a warm tone purple. So if you wanna lean more warm, you can with these two different purple shades. So I'm gonna go back into that big fluffy brush I used in the beginning and just make sure everything looks blended. You know, no harsh lines. Okay, so because I want to take it to the next level and make this look a little deeper, I'm going to go in with Void, this deep blue, and use the what S3 brush and deepen up the outer corners. And this is hella pigmented, but I thought maybe a little deep blue. <gasps> oh, I love that. That goes with the purple so well and it's so pigmented but definitely go on a light hand because you can get carried away with the shade and this is like the type of shade that could definitely have fallout on the eyes if you go too heavy with it that is absolutely stunning it goes so well with the purple so i'm going to go back into rock hopper with the same brush and just make sure we still have that in like the crease And then I'm gonna go into Cyclone, the more warmer tone purple, and just use that over here. So I'm gonna take this pencil brush. This is the S5 brush, and I'm gonna pretty much mimic what I have on the crease and top part on the bottom part. So I'm gonna start with Nauru, and I'm gonna use that all on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to now take the same a little pencil brush and go into Rock Hopper and use that into the crease, uh, into the lower lash line as well. Just like slowly deepen up the bottom part. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Cyclone, the more warm purple, and use that over here, like kind of more concentrating it in the center part. And then I'm going to go into Void the Deep Blue and use some on the edge. Just link it up to the outer top part. Just so everything can just flow really nicely together. Okay, so now I want to start playing with the shimmer. So I'm going to get this flat shader brush. This is the S4 brush and I'm going to use some glitter primer from NYX on the lids so we can really maximize these dual chromes and multi chromes. Oh, I'm so excited. The shimmers are the part I'm like most excited for. So I'm just a shimmer and glitter girl. I rather have like an all shimmer palette than have an all matte palette. That, that's just how I am. I will rock a shimmer in the crease. I have no shame. Drench me in shimmer. Alrighty, so I got the glitter primer down. So I'm thinking I want to go, I think I want to go all over the lid with Astro. I really want to see how beautiful this multi-chrome is and use it on as much space as possible in my eyes so we can just really maximize the use of the shade and we can see like it in its multi-chrome glory. That is so pretty. This is absolutely stunning. Do you guys see that? Oh, I think this is like a blue to violet shifting multi-chrome. Okay, so that is so freaking pretty. I feel like I got a little bit of like shimmer specs, but what I want to do is go in with the big fluffy brush and just make sure everything is blended on the edges here and that everything looks seamless. And I want to go in with the smaller fluffy brush back into Void the Deep Blue and just make sure we have a good blend on the edge of that shimmer just so everything looks seamless. 
just want everything to blend really nicely together and just look like they're meant to be friends you know they're meant to be together so I think that is so pretty so this is where I want to take a little twist and do something different I want to use the green I have to use this shade it just speaks to me and I just think it's beautiful so I'm actually going to use that in the inner corner part and then I think I want to dab a little bit of firefly over that hopefully this won't just take the look into a weird place but this palette makes me just want to have fun and do different things oh yes that is so fun I like that a lot oh my god I love that it just brings some interest to the look so I want to put shimmer over that but I want to lay a little bit of glitter primer over that matte just so it can you know adhere really nicely to the inner corner so now I'm going to go into firefly and just dab in the center so I'm not going to cover all of it I just want right in the center <gasps> the shade is so pretty it looks like it has like a purpley like violet shift in it that like mint green oh my gosh it's crazy how these look so amazing on a glitter primer I absolutely love this I'm so happy I went in with a little bit of the green so I'm just gonna take the big fluffy brush I didn't add any product just make sure everything is blended so I'm gonna go off camera do some liner figure out some mascara and figure out something for my lips and I will be right back okay I got you guys zoomed out my hair is looking crazy like usual oh no matter how much product I use it's the forever frizz struggle of my life but anyways this is the completed look and I absolutely adore this look I love like the little pop of green it just it just does something for me anyway so off camera I use this right here in the waterline this is from about face this is one of their shadow sticks and I did do a video talking about about face and using like their products and using this in the video so if you want to hear more about about face I'll link that video below and I'll put it up in the corner if you guys want to check that out but it makes a beautiful liner and like the waterline and I thought it just matched so well with the inner corner I just wanted to like tie in the green into the look and then of course I went in with the major pleasure mascara from Nabla my favorite and then I did a little bit of a wing on top here with the sugar what is this called wingman waterproof micro liner and just you know did a little something something I'm not that good at wing liner never been good at it I'm not gonna even try to fake on that and then for the lips I went in with one of Kaleido's lip tonics this is in the shade immersion which I don't see on their site anymore either it's kind of like a lip stain that kind of dries down a little bit it's not super transfer proof but it's a nice little mauve color and it's more like on the sheer side like a lip stain would be but I don't know if these like are coming back I only see like the red shades and like their metallic ones and their lip glosses but it went perfect with the look and I really love these things and that's how I finished it what do you guys think I love this I'm really feeling it but anyways guys that was the completed look so let's now go into my final thoughts and wrap this video up okay guys I love it I, I already knew I was gonna love it I told you guys it was biased in the beginning but I would never steer you guys wrong like I'm not going to recommend something I actually don't think is good I just knew that it was going to be a great formula I knew that Angelica Nikivis would not steer me wrong and create a gorgeous color story a gorgeous palette and I just love the combination it's one of the best collaborations by far for me because I love Kaleidos I love Angelica I love the color story we have similar aesthetics and makeup like we we like the same kind of colors and I don't know I just think it's great minds think alike so I knew whatever she created I was going to love because her style was very similar to mine and she did a great job she knocked it out of the park with this palette 
it's so gorgeous the packaging the theming the colors the formula everything is so great so if you didn't get a chance to pick this up i highly highly recommend you pick this up during the restock on february 17th okay guys but that was everything please let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video what you think did you pick up the palette are you planning to i love hearing from all of y'all and if you're new here and you like fashion makeup beauty and enjoyed this video then hit that subscribe button and join this little family we got going on and don't forget to give me a thumbs up so i know that you guys are enjoying the videos that i'm posting but i will also link everything in the description below where you can find the palette for the restock if you didn't pick it up and you want to get it as well as angelica's videos about the palette her launches her looks everything like that as well as other videos of mine that you might be interested in my contact information will be there i have two instagram pages i am breezy lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty i would love for you guys to check out my instagram pages and join my instagram fam as well but that was everything guys i just hope everyone is doing well wherever you are in the world and just sending you love and light but until next time bye guys